So when it comes to the infield, there is an abundance of knowledge and it can be overwhelming and sometimes even contradicting. YouTube videos will tell you to do this while your real life coach will tell you to do that. But listen up studs, because in this video, I'm gonna give you three tools that you must have in your toolbox that's gonna instantly make you a better infielder. Now you just add your own little flavor to it. With that, let's get right into it. So the first tool you must have to be a better infielder is arm versatility. You wanna make sure that you're able to throw from different arm angles. Now, that all depends on the speed of the runner, how hard the ball was hit, and many other variables. Now, don't get me wrong, you wanna throw from your most natural arm slot as much as possible, but sometimes the game doesn't allow that. Sometimes if you have to throw from the hip because it's quicker, that's what you have to opt for, so why not practice for that and be better prepared for when that moment does come because luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Don't let the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Don't let the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Oh, team boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, team boy. Don't let the ride or die. Oh, team boy. Don't let the ride or die. I keep boys by my seat. Now, obviously, you want to work on your most natural arm slot, and that comes with long tossing. So, we're about to get into it. Let's go. A few moments later. So, now we're a good distance away. We're working on a long toss. This is not where you work on arm versatility. You want to make sure that your arm slot is at its most natural. And, yeah, let's get it. So, yeah, when we're doing quick hands, that's when you work on your arm versatility. While you're going out and stretching it out for a long toss, you're working on your actual arm slot, your most natural arm slot. Always, always end with a game of quick hands if you want to get competitive. Best out of three, you drop a ball, that's an L. Uh, if you miss throw a ball, your friend got to save you because that's just part of having quick hands is to be able to save your partner, save your friend. Just play quick hands, best out of three. Let's get it. So we just got a long toss in, got some quick hands in too. The second tool you must have to instantly become a better infielder is angles. So an angle consists of three things. You, the ball, and your target. You wanna intersect the ball while moving to your target in a synchronized motion. From now on, we will call that flow. I only bring up this flow thing because too often I see movement away from the target to catch the ball stuck in the mud. In this case, you have to rely heavily on arm strength and making sure that throws on the money. If you're already making those plays with ease, then that's great for you, but just think about college and professionals play on a daily basis. Just imagine those max effort throws on a daily basis. That's very taxing on your arm and oof. On average, a runner needs four seconds to get down the line. A lot can happen in those four seconds. So that means as infielders, we need to have a sense of urgency, not only to get to the ball, but also get that ball in our hand as quick as we can, bars. So that means from the moment the ball is hit, we have to be quick. Quickness means a lot of different things. Quickness means getting to the ball, but what we're talking about here, which is the third tool you need to be an elite infielder, is quick hands. Well, so the, the whole purpose of quick hands I feel like that's actually the most important part because but if you can get this in your hand, like that's why when you're running down, they say have the ball in your hand. Because mm -hmm. ah, you can, if you get this, you do your pass, do whatever you want, but at least it's secure in your hand. Yeah. In your glove, it could be here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're, you're shuffling and then you, oh shit, yeah. one of those. So that's why I feel like that's the most important part. It is dangerous to have this ball in your glove because this glove has a lot of surface area. Not this one, right? Valley training glove. Link in the description if you need one. Let's say you're shuffling in, you can't find the ball because that happens to all of us. That in itself is very dangerous because you don't know where the ball is. If you can get that ball in your hand, now you can do a lot more with this in your hand than you can with it in your glove. You can tag somebody and you can throw. German Carmani. Oh. This is a great drill to do if you don't know what quick hands are, all right? So if you, you guys are home, you guys can do two drills that'll help you with your transfer and with your quick hands, we call this the dribble. Once you get better, you can you can go no look, all right? But watch it and try to pick it, boom, boom. You can even flip it back to your hand, boom. So at home, you can do this. 
Question, am I closing my glove? Boom, like that. This will help your transfer immensely. When you're practicing your quick hands, remember this. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. If you're trying to be so quick that you're dropping the balls, that's not smooth nor effective. So make sure you're maintaining that step-by-step -step process. And once you're comfortable with that step-by-step, -step, almost robotic sequence, then you can flow these steps together or what I like to call cheating into the next step. If you need a tutorial on quick hands, then watch this video for everything you need to know about getting those hands lightning quick. So in this video, you learned about the three tools you need to become a better infielder. If you guys need more videos to help you become a better infielder, click this playlist because we have an abundance of infield knowledge already on this channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. Also hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm because they ask for that kind of stuff. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm going to see y'all next time, all right? Y'all already know what time it is. Time is now.